Okay, ladies and gents, so I've just been alerted to this on Twitter. Somebody had tagged me. Um, I think they tagged me, English Gardener. So it's called Richard, I believe. About the vet who Penny Fletcher allegedly called on the morning of the 27th. Now, I haven't been covering Nicola Bully since before the the inquest and didn't cover the inquest. I got a bit too much for me, to be fair, because I've always felt there's been more to this. I don't... Um, I've got to be careful how I word it, I guess. Um, I've never felt a psyop. I've made it quite clear that I feel it was foul play. This is alleged. Everything I'm saying is alleged. Uh, and for entertainment purposes only. I'm not saying this is fact. You may have seen this article. But I just thought I'd read it out because like, I knew nothing about this. And you might know nothing about this. And it needs talking about. So the vet who allegedly, Penny Fletcher rang on the 27th of January, reference Willow, Nicola's dog. Vet who told family she was... Sorry, I'm reading an article, but, you know, I'm discussing. Um, I'll do a reading on this, actually, as well. So, I, I need to be on Twitter more, like... So, she was being... She, that was told family she was being followed, found dying in the London hotel room. Like, what the actual... Uh, also on the cover, this is another one. Matthew, uh, Matthew Perry. Yeah, Matthew Perry. Don't believe that was... Uh... Anyway, I've got to be careful on that one. That'll have to go on Rumble because it... It's about a certain subject that you can't discuss on YouTube. So an inquest was told the 30-year-old had fled from Lancashire to the four-star hotel after getting worried about her safety. Now, I saw somebody say, why did she go there? It's a bit pricey. Well, I'm not even funny. She's a vet. She's going to shut my window. She's going to vet her own good money. And, like, why should she go to a... She probably felt... Safe for going in um, a bigger, nicer hotel, maybe. I don't know the size of it. Why should she go in a dingy little B and B? That I wouldn't feel safe. I I probably would have gone to. If that was me. I'd have gone to something more upmarket as well. So I don't understand why someone's just a choice of price. Uh, she's probably well paid. Vets are very well paid. So this is her. Now I'm going to butcher her name here. Excuse me. Is it Elena or Yulina Sasak? Bitch, you've been followed. Now the image was given by a line, Ilona Sasak. So I guess that's a family member, maybe sister or mother or something. So it's interesting because we never saw or, or really knew much about the vet. The vet could have been a man. The vet could have been someone, you know. They didn't really focus on who the vet was, did they? So apparently she... There's all these uh, adverts flashing on the side, but I've cropped it screen recording, so we don't get a lot of that flashing. So she feared she'd been followed, but found dying in a bath. That's that's another one. They seem to always pick the bath. The, the, I'm not saying she's done this, you know, it could be uh, something else, other people. Allegedly. I'm guessing it's Yulina, because E-W-E is you, isn't it? Yulina, I'm going to say, and I'm sorry I forgot her name wrong. I'd fled to the capital after telling her family she was at risk of being harmed. She was discovered in a bath at a four-star hotel. Her injuries were such doctors initially suspected. At first, a 30-year-old may have been attacked. But they ultimately found no signs of third-party involvement or self-defence. 
The owner of the Staunton Hotel in Bloomsbury, Central London, discovered pale Miss Sasak lying in the bath with extreme wounds. So, is, are they covering us up? A doctor said Miss Sasak's wounds were so severe that they appeared to have been inflicted by violent activity. But the police and the pathologist independently declared there was no suspicious circumstances. The young woman's distraught parents flew over from the home in Poland and to attend the inquest at St Pancras Coroner's Court on Monday. Has anybody else said about this? I know I don't watch the news news, but I do get the news. This is on Wales Online. Speaking outside, they said their daughter was happy and had recently had a pay rise in her dream job, was buying furniture for her flat in Blackpool. She'd moved to the UK in 2021 after qualifying as a vet in Poland. Using a friend as a translator, her dad, Henry, or Henrik Sussex, said she was working as a vet. She had a pay rise, she had something to live for. She had lots of friends in Poland and she was very healthy. But there, obviously, like, this is not right. The young woman who worked at Moy Vets in Hambleton Lanks was very close to her friends in Poland, had a strong relationship with her family. However, in the days leading up to her death, the young girl became convinced that a group of 10 people, less than 10, were following her and intent on harming her. The fear became so intense she fled from Blackpool to London, even planning to fly last minute to Poland before becoming too terrified she'd be injected with poison mid flight. At 10 p.m. that night, Miss Sasak checked into the Staunton Hotel. So I wonder what led to this. Like, was she getting emails? Was she getting threats? She made the reservation under name only and paid the night porter upfront in cash for a night in a ground floor room beside the reception. So she obviously felt very scared. On the next morning, the chambermaid couldn't enter the door and called the receptionist. She couldn't get in either, but managed to get a distressed Miss Sussex to speak to her through the locked door. Miss Sussex asked to stay another night. The receptionist returned to the desk and telephoned Miss Sussex to say they were fully booked, but she could stay an extra half an hour before checking out. The hotel owner arrived at 12, 10, 12. He struggled to break into the locked door. Once then she was gained, Miss Sussex was found in the bath, conscious but injured. Attempts by emergency service to resuscitate her were unsuccessful, and she was pronounced dead at 107. She hadn't slept in her bed. Train tickets were strewn across it from Preston to Manchester Airport. Preston to Liverpool and London, all zones, travel card, all valid for previous day. A bag filled with paperwork, £175 and £12 coins were also recovered. Wow. So, she clearly... So, we've got here... Was she really that paranoid that she just imagined it? She must have been getting some sort of communication for this to happen. Maybe? Sure thoughts. Assistant coroner Ian Potter ruled that Miss Sussex died by suicide. Wow. We can never know whether her belief was grounded in reality, but that it was clear she was overcome by fear and distress when she checked into the Staunton Hotel. Well, you could check all her devices to see if she's been getting malicious communication. Wow. Summarising the verdict said, I'm told by Eulina's Angelique Sussex mother, Iona, Iona, so it was the mother that provided that picture, that she was, quote, a very nice girl with a lot of friends. Also close to me, she had a good and close relationship with her family. This screams like foul play. So Ilona has given the evidence about text messages and numerous conversations she'd had with Eulina between the 12th 25th of April. So this has been going on for a while. We're now 30th of October as I read this. Those exchanges paint a picture of a fast emerging situation which rapidly escalated what can only be described as a state of apparent despair 
which saw a situation where Yulina believed she'd been followed on the 24th of April by a group of up to 10 people. Wow. Now, are they going to try and say this was social media? I have no doubt that Yulina did believe she'd been followed. What is less clear is the source of that belief. Whether it was entirely based on reality or whether it was delusional, either in whole or part. In the absence of expert medical opinion regarding Yulina's mental health, which is not possible to obtain after the fact, we'll never know the exact facts of the situation. And her belief, however, what is clear to me is at the time she checked into the Staunton Hotel, Yulina was in a state of some fear and distress. So this has been going on since April. He said he also considered the extreme extent of the vet's injuries and said he did not believe it was a cry for help. He added, in light of these factors, I reject the notion of accident and find that on the balance of probabilities, Yulina inflicted these injuries on herself and she did so with the intention of taking her own life. Turning to her parents, he added, all that remains, Iona and Henrik, is for me to give you my sincere condolences for the loss of your daughter. I can't begin to imagine the pain and suffering that it's caused for you, and I wish you a safe journey home. Wow. Is that it? I'm trying to put a new uh, I'm sure you recording it won't let me um click on another window it's just gonna see if there was anything else. Let's pause the screen. I've just managed to get another um Window up. I had to pause it. It wouldn't let me. Uh, I to open Google again. Tragic M vet. So she says she's 30. I want to see what date happened again. Was it the 20th? Day did this happen? It's published on the 25th. So they've had the inquest. They wouldn't hear about all this. Well, some people might have. This uh, here. Now they're saying there's no suspicious circumstances. Uh, did it happen? So she, this has been going on since April. Mr. Potter could find that like nobody inflicts injuries of that severity on themselves a cry for help. None of it really adds up, does it? It's all a bit suspicious. Date, you, Lena. Oh, it happened in April. So, wow. In April. So she did it in April. You say well. Her inquest was October the 23rd. Interesting. That took a while. Checked in about 10 p.m. So this happened in April. Oh, 
April 24th, so what's that? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Number 17 day. The time was 107 that they talked about, 17. I just noticed numbers in uh, articles, times and dates adding up. Wow. I'm going to do a reading on this just to see what comes out. It's like it's all been a bit brushed under the carpet. I, I would, um, they haven't said she was involved in the Nicola Bully case, did they? It's only that people know that that's her. They're not saying this was the vet that Penny Fletcher rang. Hmm. There you go, guys. Just thought I'd, uh, lovely lady, attractive young lady, smart, bright, got the world at her feet and gone. Lots of love. Let me know what you think. And if you know any more information, please comment or you can email me and, um, yeah, mate, we need to look at this more and any other things. Because I haven't really looked at the case quite some time. Um, I always felt there was foul play going on there. So lots of love.